Today I just wanted to highlight to you a feature in Photoshop called a plugin. Hello and welcome, my name is Robin Nichols and I'm an instructor with bpsop.com. So you may be scratching your head right now and thinking, well, what's a plugin? A plugin is literally a small, independently or third-party designed piece of software that plugs in or lives within Photoshop. And you normally access these plugins from the filter drop-down menu. Why would you want to use a plugin? Well, very simply, you can see on the screen here, we're looking at the Google NIC collection plugins. It offers HDR Effects Pro, it offers Silver Effects Pro. HDR Effects Pro will create high dynamic range images far better than Photoshop's own merge to HDR Pro. So there are things in Photoshop that, you know, they're pretty good, but it can't be superb at doing everything. It is pretty good at doing everything, but this leaves opportunities for third-party developers to produce little bits of software that do certain things like HDR, like converting to black and white, like sharpening, for example, like defining details, for example, a little bit better than Photoshop. The really nice thing is, uh, although Nick Software used to sell this entire suite for about 700 US dollars, which is the reason I don't have it, uh, the really good thing is, as you can see, it's been bought by Google, and Google is now offering this suite of plugins, yay, this is a suite of plugins for free. You just download it and off you go. Let me just show you a for example. Now, in Photoshop, once I've hit the filter button and I've chosen to, in this case, open Silver Effects Pro, here's the original image behind. It's uh, of the Silverton Hotel. If anybody's been to Oz, they'll know it's a very famous hotel in the outback. It's just about as far as you can drive from Sydney as possible without uh, falling off the edge. It's right in the middle of uh, the country, in the middle of the desert. And it's very famous because it was a place where Mad Max, the movie, was first filmed. Now, I'm using Silver Effects Pro. Over on the left-hand side, we have a preset library. It's only got 38, but you'll see that these are fantastic. Let's try the Vintage Collection. Now, the Vintage Collection just allows me to click on one of the presets. It works just like as if you were using an iPad or an iPhone or an Android app, something like that. It just chooses a recipe and applies that to the image. It is fantastic. I could choose this. I could actually show you in Photoshop how you would do this. Put the border on, put the vignetting on, put the rough edges, put the yellow tones on it, that kind of thing. But it would take me probably 20 or 30 minutes to do that. And you might think, well, it's probably not worth it. So this is the absolute amazing thing about these plugins is it just allows you to get in there and tweak images. Bang. I like that one. Okay. I'm going to stick with that one. Now, there is a lot more. You can, of course, compare before and after. You can have both images up at the same time. We can, of course, save our own recipes as presets if we want to do that. Over on the right-hand side of the screen, we have the ability to take that preset and then adjust it. So I can make it go a little bit darker. I can apply a colored filter, which is uh, essentially a black and white filter. And I can emphasize, I'm not actually having much luck. That is just pretty spectacular, the difference there. Just using a green filter on that. Still lose a little bit of the information let's just lower the contrast down and it brings up the detail underneath the veranda so we have an amazing range of possibilities here even down here film types wow okay so we can choose different film types oh this is walking down memory lane here so i used to use uh, kodak film a lot of course um, and you can just recreate the look of a certain kind of film 32 iso film who makes that now no camera shoots 32 iso in the digital world uh, and we can just try different looks, different contrasts, different grain structures, different feels. There we go, 1600 ISO Neopan, and just take that. And again, then we can modify every feature from that re uh, ne Neopan preset. So without further ado, I think you can see that presets are a really fantastic way to extend what you've already got in Photoshop and to give you a whole range of new sort of creative ideas.